Welcome back friends to your Tech Handy channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. In this video we will see how we can install Veeam Backup and Replication version 12. You need business email ID to download free version ISO file. Please let me know in comments if you require ISO file link. Followings are the list of Veeam 1 supported platforms. You need to remind followings while configuring your Veeam backup server. Do not install on server with critical production role, such as domain controller. This should be a standalone server with no other capabilities or functions installed. Veeam backup server cannot be installed on Windows Server Core. You can install other components like the proxy or the repository on a Windows Server Core but the VBR server, the actual server components needs to be installed on a full-fledged desktop experience version of Windows Server. Backup infrastructure components roles can be unite. Means you can put multiple roles onto a single server without any kind of issues or drawbacks. VBR server does not need to be joined to a domain. That means that there's a separate set of credentials that are completely keep secret. All editions of Microsoft SQL servers are supported, but the usage of Microsoft SQL Express Edition or default PostgreSQL is completely fine. The limit of it though that you need to consider is the size of database itself. You can have up to 10 gigabytes. You also need to consider listed recommended minimum configuration requirements before installation. Now let's start the installation. I already downloaded the Veeam Backup and Replication version 12 ISO and copied it on the desktop. I will perform an all-in-one installation with all components on the same server. For this purpose, I attached an additional 100GB disk which I will format as a REFS file system, which is the recommended format for better performance. Next, we will mount the downloaded ISO. Click on Setup to Installation. Now select Install Veeam Backup and Replication option. Accept license agreement. You can import purchased license file or leave empty for free trial installation. You can hit install to install with default setting or can define your personal settings using customize settings option. Our installation process is now started. It will take 15 to 30 minutes depending on system resources. Installation is now completed. It is best practice to restart your server once after complete installation.
After server restart wait for 5 to 10 minutes before launching UVeam backup and replication application to give some time to services starts up fully. You need to update components after first launch. We are now ready to use Veeam Backup and Replication Console and Services. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please like, share and subscribe for more informative videos.